let's hand it over now to Mr Football himself, Les Murray and Ali. Thanks, Melanie. Let, let me uh, begin by just saying a few words about uh, the great man uh, as he has uh, impacted uh, on, on uh, not just Australia but on the football world generally and including myself. So uh, thanks, Melanie, for the introductions and uh, I personally welcome Alessandro and Sonia and Tobias. Uh, Dorotea and uh, Sasha are not here but at school, I, I gather, uh, which is the right place for them to be. In the mid-1990s, I was commentating on SBS on a match between a European uh, Champions League match between Juventus and uh, Manchester United. And in mid-commentary, in mid I found myself bursting out with laughter, uh, which I'd never, never done before that. And it was caused by this man who, who took on the Manchester United right back. Uh, uh, I, it may have been uh, Neville, I, I, I can't remember which one, but, but he just took the piss out of him, something rotten. It was the, it was the most beautiful, sublime piece of skill I have seen uh, in a very long time, if, if not ever, at the time. So I enjoy, I've always enjoyed players who, who are capable of doing that. That's, that's what I grew up, grew up on. Uh, to me, uh, players who, who play with a great uh, uh, array of skills, of technical skills, of, of uh, creative genius, uh, are, are the players that I want to see, the players that I, I'm going to jump out of my seat to see. Uh, and uh, and he's, he's one of them. Uh, I remember when Roberto Baggio was the, was the great star at Juventus and he was coming to, towards the end of his career and I'm thinking, well, what's, what, Juventus is, what is Juventus going to do? How are they going to replace this man? And then out of the blue, along comes Alessandro Del Piero and, and uh, he was a, uh, a beautiful uh, successor, if not, uh, not, uh, not necessarily the same player, but but a beautiful successor to, to the great Baggio. Uh, his impact on Australian football, of course, is uh, just about immeasurable. Uh, he's he's, he's uh, packing the stadiums. He's upping the television ratings everywhere, uh, uh, every, every time he plays. Uh, I was just mentioning to someone earlier that uh, uh, so far on, uh, on, S on the A-League on the, uh, coverage of uh, SBS, uh, the live coverage on Friday nights, the two highest ratings, rating games were the ones that he played in. So he's a, he's a massive factor in drawing audiences. He puts football on the back pages, on the front pages, all for the right, reason, right reasons. And, uh, but not because of, of his ability as a foot, not just because of his ability as a footballer, but also because of his demeanor as a man, uh, his charm, his generosity of spirit is just about legendary. Uh, and that's, that's, the, that's the role model that I, want, I would want my kids to follow. Uh, he's also, just glancing through this book, he's also quite a, uh, uh, a deep thinking man and uh, 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 quite a philosopher and a very wise man because he's now 39 years old, so he's, he's picked up a bit of wisdom in his time. Uh, he devotes uh, in his book a lot of the pages to to, his, to values, human values, as he sees them. And uh, it's not just a story of his life, it's, it's much more than that. Uh, not just a story of his career, but much more than that. Let me quote, from, uh, quote one paragraph from uh, a uh, chapter he, he uh, titles Style. He says, having style is more a duty than a right, and it doesn't mean moving gracefully or treading softly. Certainly externals do count, but true style is not appearance, it's substance. Style is also the face we put, put on and the message we communicate through our facial expressions and our body movements, through human warmth or through the absence of all that because coldness also has a style and we're certainly not all the same. Style is not giving yourself airs and it's not a signature or a designer label. That's a different meaning of the term. What I'm interested in is the style embodied in what I do and in my desire to be better.
Thank you very much, Les, for my yeah, pleasure. It's, it's my pleasure, uh, Alessandro. It's always uh, good to spend time with you. Uh, let me ask you, first of all, uh, you're 39 years of, of age, so you're not exactly at the end of your life. So why write this book now? But it's, um, it's the right moment for, for write this book. Because, uh, it's, first of all, thank you, all of us, for coming. And uh, all of you for coming. And uh, it's... Um, you know the the moment uh, when I left the Juventus is the big moment, and uh, especially the last year, I spent a lot of time in the bench. Then I have a lot of time to think, <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> it uh, it was easier to write something. But uh, it's I'm not choose exactly mm. a moment for for write. Mm. Is this happened, and uh, you just this is to do uh, it. yeah. You just uh, wanted to do it. Uh, now, uh, what has been uh, the, because as we heard, the book is out in Italy, of course, already. What has been the response in Italy so far to the book? Ah, it's fantastic. Mm. Yes, it's a uh, it's a bestseller in Italy. It's, I'm very proud about that, but I'm very proud about what uh, the the value come mm. yeah. come through, through. Yeah. and. Um, this is what uh, inspired also um, a gallery now in Italy, yeah. where the Wallabies two mm. weeks mm. ago mm. as yeah. uh, asked guests. Mm. And um, yeah, it's um, I'm I'm happy about yeah. uh, this work because uh, it's uh, it's a long work, mm. step by step, yeah. Uh, yeah. find the right words. In Italian, not in English. No. <laughs> well, I mean, the elegant words are, uh, are in this version too, I can tell you. Uh, now, you say in your reference to, uh, to your Aust Australian experience, you say in the book, Australia uh, is not just a country, it's a state of mind. Tell yeah. us what you mean by this. Exactly, because, uh, um, like I told you before, the moment when I choose to come and to f to flew uh, here is a big moment in my life. Uh, first of all, because I spent all my career in, in Juve, that's why it's uh, every change is a big change for me. Um, usually, I stay at home in my home with my family and never change a lot. Uh, that's why. This is uh, the first big change. Then the language, the jet lag, the champ, the, the league, and the fans, the everything is changing my life. And uh, before uh, my choice, I think uh, about all. I try to think about all. And uh, what I find here is uh, exactly what I have in my mind. You, you, you say that you, in the book, that you wanted to get away as far as possible. You wanted something completely far away, completely new, exotic maybe, something different than uh, another club in Europe, for example. Uh, f for sure, there's many opportunities in, in Europe. And that's, uh, I say thank you a lot of time for all the teams ask me to, to go there. But in Europe, I in Italy and in Europe, I have done everything, uh, Serie A and Champions League, uh, every kind of cup I played. I'm also won. <laughs> That's uh, it's uh, it's a, it's a good point of start for for move far, far in the different league and in different country, and uh, Australia is one of my target and uh, at the end is the target. Well, we're happy to have you. Uh, you. I discovered in the book, one of the things I discovered in the book is that uh, was that table tennis played a role in your development yeah. as a competitor. C can you elaborate on that? Uh, yeah, I think in, in every step on, on about your life, you can find something in every experience 
you can keep something. If you are open with, with your mind, if you are uh, ready to, to listen and to understand. And this is what happened in the ping pong game. Uh, every time uh, I was at the last uh, point, I, I feel my hands shaking. <laughs> And uh, it's it's bef because I think uh, I'm I'm thinking too much about the result, about what uh, happen if uh, I miss or if I do the right way, and this is uh, a bad thing for me. Uh, that's why I uh, there's a, a specific moment uh, when I change. This. And I say, okay, why lose your energy for stupid uh, thoughts, uh, thought? And and I start to put all of my heart, also in a simple ping pong game. That's why it's good because uh, it's it's not only it wasn't only a ping pong game. It's a uh, state of mind yes it is uh, so it, it, it taught you how to get on top of pressure situations how to conquer pressure situations which is very exactly. important in football. The, the, the pressure of the, the big moment is uh, sometimes what uh, is the difference between a great player and the best player and uh, and that's uh, and you have to make choices you say in the book all the time yeah. Uh, you you say that when you when you when you've missed penalties in in the past and you have missed some, it was because you didn't make a choice. Is that right? Yeah. For if you prepare something like a penalty, uh, mm, there's different way. But for for sure, for sure, you have to choose uh, one or this way, and then inside on this way you can think what is the best for you. All the time I, in front of the, it's <laughs> strange sometimes, but sometimes it happens. Uh, all the time I'm in front of the ball, ready for for start my my run. And, and I say, and now what happened? And this is, <laughs> Very bad moment <laughs> because uh, happened for sure something not all the time but something wrong. Well, you've had a fantastic career so far, and and may it continue forever. You mention uh, uh, one of the deities in the book, which is the god of Kronos, the god of time. Do you fear him when he when he comes calling? I feel it's coming, yes, but uh, I try all the time to make a deal with him. It's hard make a deal with a with a god or with some god uh, gods, but uh, it's uh, for sure it's coming. It's uh, the part of the of of every soccer player, every athlete. It's Kronos. Uh, is the is the hand, yeah. yeah it's the enemy. But uh, if you feel like an enemy, it's it's not good for me. I think uh, you have to respect and uh, try to do your best until the moment uh, he said, "That's it. Let's finish this time." Well, congratulations on the book, Alessandro. Thank you very much. And good luck with it. Uh, please thank Alessandro Del Piero. Thank you very much. Thank you, Les. Thanks, Ali. Um, okay, well, that concludes the uh, formal proceedings, but does anyone have any questions for Ali? Don't be shy. Yeah, there we go. There's one. Um, my, I changed a lot in my, my career. 
um, until five years ago, I read uh, a lot of, uh, uh, thrillers, yes, thrillers. <laughs> also in Italian, that's right, thrillers, that's okay. <laughs> and uh, many, many, many. Dan Brown, for sure, is one of the best. And, uh, the, and now I prefer to choose something different, something that try to push high at my level of, uh, of read. It's very hard, <laughs> but uh, uh, I'll try. Ten o'clock at in the bed. Now <laughs> the, there are some picture. <laughs> I was in a concert. Yes, I was uh, in concert with uh, with Eros, and uh, it was a very great concert. And um, uh, I want to say thank you also to him because he spent a very good words about me. But uh, I don't want to say thank you because uh, he invited me on the stand and he said to me, okay, now you have to sing. And this is, I think, the worst moment in the concert. <laughs> but the, the crowd <laughs> maybe uh, don't uh, listen too much because I was without voice and it's a good excuse for me. The crowd said you sang well for the record. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Fans. <laughs>